For the last decade or so, I've been making these custom imaging rigs using desktop scanners and battery packs, strapping them to my body and then literally traversing the landscape. Every part of the image is broken up into moments of time because of the relation of how the scanner beam moves across the surface of the scanner and then I move across the surface of the landscape. What you're looking at is movement and then stasis, an arm swing, or the wind blowing, or the water attracting and detracting me like a magnetic field. And that's captured always in every image. I was talking to my brother-in-law, he's Italian, and he's like, Nathaniel, these are beautiful. Uh, you should go and scuba and do them with the coral reef. I spent three months getting open water certified, advanced open water certified, scientific dive certified. I did some crazy things. In the end, my team and I designed 10 different subaqueous systems. We built five of them to completion, and I brought three of them with me to three different sites. The materials ranged from custom electronics and um, melted and welded plexiglass to metal to plastic bags and towels. Sometimes we needed a little bit of duct tape. Uh, they leaked, they broke, they scanned scratches on the surface of the boxes, they reflected, they captured things that I never wanted and never intended, and that is precisely the nature of experimental work. These beautiful images do things and express things that I never could have imagined. They provoke thinking and feeling and movement that never would have came to me had I not worked beyond the scope of what was possible. The best of art frames and amplifies who and how we are in and with the world, and more importantly, how we could be. I believe this body of work presents to us something new about ourselves and our activities. At stake are not only the ways we perform our bodies, media, concepts, and materials, but also the implications of water and land, life and non-life, that we perform with every day, as individuals, as a people, and as a part of our habitats.